Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. We're hanging out here in the West Hill River Inn on the Citadel Minecraft server. Just outside of West Hill, we've been working here for the last couple streams, working along the river. And you can even see on the map the differences that we've made compared to areas that have no detail added and then areas that have detail added. And it even looks different from up here, which is very cool. And if you have a keen eye, you might notice that I have an addition to my texture pack. I installed the 3D bookshelves or 3D chiseled bookshelves from Vanilla Tweaks, which I think are really cool. They're very, very simple. They just add some depth to the bookshelves and then they add a little paper and uh, binding to the books that are not tall enough to reach the top. It's very subtle, but I like it a lot. It's very cool. And since I have it on, I want to go check out the library. Looks cool down here too. I want to go check out the library at the keep because I think that will look really, really fun. Cosmic Dancer, Tarsiris, Blast Jordan, Dan Grice, Sweet Sandy. Good to see everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Obu is here and Obu has subscribed. Resubbed 27 months in a row. Happy Friday, Joel. Thanks very much for the tier one, Obu. Appreciate it. So up in the keep, and we'll take the long way. I don't know that I've approached the freshly groomed mountain at sunset. That looks pretty cool. I wish I could play with shaders on all the time. So through here, there is a large library. Very cool with the moonlight coming in. I might sleep just to see if we can get this in the sunlight. But that, that adds a lot, I think. That's really cool. It makes those spots where you leave an empty book feel that much more worth it, right? Because all of these books are placed by hand for people that don't know. All right, let's go sleep. Then we'll come back up in the sunlight and see what's up. Oh yeah. No, I like that a lot. That's very cool. I bet you it looks good upstairs too. That is a door. I thought it was a closet for a second. Didn't remember that. Nice. Like it. So we were working along the uh, west bank of the river yesterday. We finished up this part here. We did all of this detail all along here, including some rock details up there. A little bit at the bottom of the wall, all the way around to this little fishing hole or fishing beach, fishing shoreline. Just a little something there. And then we finished up with the other side of this path. And then nothing beyond that was touched. We didn't really get that beyond that. So that's kind of where we are now. And the two things that I wanted to do, I wanted to spruce up this little fishing dock. I wanted to make an actual dock and give it a, a boat and maybe some more railing, maybe a chain. I think it might have to be just a little bit bigger. I might want to push it just a little bit farther. Uh, I want to finish up this. This feels a little bit rudimentary. I think this stone, um, stone road would probably turn into some stone stairs, so we're probably going to try to do that. And then I want to continue on this little bit left uh, of custom river a riverbank uh, and that will that will conclude all of the riverbank on the West Hill River the only thing left after that would be 
the banks of the Spruce River, which in some cases they need to have builds on them first. But we've got some places... Yeah, like there's nothing here. I'm thinking about adding a windmill here. And there's obviously nothing there. This is going to be a farm uh, going with whatever that house is. Or maybe... I don't know. And the other thing that I've noticed... This is far too big. I really, I really need to reduce that down. And I'm not sure how to handle it because I really like this area. But this whole section is the section that has to go. This is, is plenty. So I need to figure out a new design for that. And it's going to involve probably just ripping down a good chunk of this and starting. I'm, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping the kitchen. But then everything else is going to come down, I think. It's just, it's the first thing I did in the area. And it's just far too big. Everything else is such a nice player scale. So like, for example, this farmhouse is twice the size of the inn <laughs> that we just built. So I feel like it just, it, it dominates the landscape up here. So I think that um, it'll be better to remove a good chunk of it, especially the top floor. Also, if we look at it, it's hiding other farms that are behind it. And I feel like I want to be able to see those other farms. Like there's two houses or two buildings here that I want to be able to see. I don't think it's iconic necessarily. I like the roof. I want to keep that aspect of it. So like I said, we're going to keep, we're going to keep this, but like just for, just for example, like just look at the space, right? I do really like this outside space. So I might just move that, but look compared to everything else we've built. It's just, I mean, obviously the tables and chairs are not working. We have to replace those. But the kitchen is massive. And then there's all this unused, completely empty space. And then there's this giant living room. It, it just, it was such an early, early build. And I'm still going to keep a farm here. I'm not getting rid of the crops or anything like that. But like, there's just rooms upon rooms upon rooms. It's just so big. So it needs to... It needs to stop about here. I don't know what we're going to do with all this space. Maybe we'll add some horses or something up here. Some livestock, some sheep or pigs or something. A pig pen would be nice, maybe. But it's got its own little personal garden. But then it's a huge crop farm, so I'm keeping that. But even in terms of the square footage and the scale, that's smaller. That's a giant wheat mill. And it's smaller than this, what's supposed to be just a farmhouse. So if I get up on, on the cam, right, like, I feel like we could probably stop it, certainly get rid of all this, and then I'll probably take the campfires and put them over on this chimney. And then I think we can get rid of, we can make the entrance smaller. We can put maybe a half story on the top of it. I'm going to keep the texture. Like, I, I want to maintain that kind of texture. I'll take a couple screenshots for the texture. Um, but yeah, I really, it's not really what I'm looking for in this area. It's just, it's so big. Like, look at the footprint of the house compared to the footprints of the houses that I thought would be other good farmhouses. So, yeah. We're definitely going to have to adjust that I could repurpose it sure but it's it's not that its purpose is a problem it's it's the fact that it's that big in that location it doesn't make sense to me anymore and it won't take that long to rebuild it's it's not like I have to start from scratch um, Anyway, I took the liberty of laying out all my shulker boxes before stream. So I think what we'll do is we'll start with the dock and see what we can come up with here. It's pretty well made. I think I just need to make it just a tiny bit bigger because I want to add in, I think, another post. I liked what I did before with the fence post. Need some more trapdoors. That's 
it's not going to work. Maybe composter. Uh, what else could I need? Chains. And the stone wall might have to go something a little bit fancier. Chris Underbow, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. What other textures do I have down here? Oak. I've done a couple of other docks, so I want to go look at those too. Going 29 minutes and 15 seconds for full inventory. I feel like there should be a poll. <laughs> Maybe we have to do like less than, you know? All right, I want a boat. Dark oak and signs and barrels. Oh, that's a good call, too. Lantern would be good. Do I have a lantern? I don't. Barrels. Stripped dark oak. Can I make that out of regular? No, I have not updated that. You lose wood that way, but sometimes it's fastest. Oh, I had some. Crap. Polls next time. Yeah, I think it would be kind of funny to do something where Joel hits full inventory at, you know, Less than 20 minutes, less than 30 minutes. Or maybe it's like between 20 and 30, between 30 and 40, between 40 and 50, like that kind of stuff. If you think, if you think 10 minutes is, is too broad, we could do five minutes. I'm not sure how many different things you could put on a poll. I don't know what we could do for winners. Can I, can I give out channel points? Is that something I can do? I should know this. Outside of just people earning channel points, can I give out channel points? No, you can't? Okay. I didn't think so. Coarse dirt. Make sure gun that doesn't work because the spawn chunks is a partnership with myself and Johnny. So that's not exclusive to my channel, right? I feel like these would end up being dirt. Maybe it doesn't need to get any bigger.
what I was hoping to do was add, maybe I can just do a trap door here. I wanted to add a little something. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. A zombie somewhere. Oh, I added 3D chains too, which I quite like. I think the texture is the same. I think they just made it 3D. I feel like they maybe changed the color. So I'm going to check that. Well, I mean, I guess there's an easy way to check that, isn't there? I wish there was a way to, like, just turn off a texture pack without having to reload everything. No, I guess they are pretty blue, aren't they? Huh. It's the same texture. I think it's just that there's more of it, right? I think maybe the solution here is actually to use walls instead of a log. Although that doesn't match with the log there, does it? And then the chain doesn't work. Hmm. I like this. I just think that if we put a lantern on it, we might want to make this just a tiny bit higher. Although that's not terrible. Yeah, maybe we don't want to make it taller. I was hoping to put something on top of that fence post, but nothing that will connect will work. Yeah, I can't think of anything else other than just, you know, bragging rights for the stream. Because it would go to more than one person, right? Because, like, theoretically, everybody could guess correctly. That just it looks like a little hat to me when I do that. That almost requires a dark oak fence gate. I do like that as something a little different though. Maybe that's how we can make this feel a little bit more special. some dark oak. I don't mind that. This looks out of place now, though. Maybe we switch these. Oh, that can't get flipped like a barrel. Nuts. Oops. I don't remember what was there. Slab, I think.
if you use the price is right rules, then the closest estimate that is less than the final time wins. No duplicates allowed, but you can guess one second difference. Yeah, that's a lot to track though. The Nookie, hello, welcome in. Freaker, welcome in. Do, 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 do. This does make it feel very dark. I don't mind the dark oak, you know. Let's see what a pressure plate looks like. It needs something to tie more with the metal on the barrels. Hmm. There's a zombie in a cave down there somewhere. Yeah, the chain on a sign is a neat idea. I don't know if it necessarily works for this. I'm definitely gonna have to do some digging here. Hear you. Oh, there you all are. Let's go get a weapon. Well, full inventory. Twenty thirty-one thirty-three. the spider did. At least it's not a big cave. Well, I say that.
I say that, and then it opens up, unfortunately. My main concern is um, mobs that are holding stuff that won't despawn. little adventure. A bat. It's one of the new bats. They are cute. Oh, that was a hole. My goodness. Oh, I don't think we have to worry about stuff that far down because we're not going to be able to hear that on the surface. the skeleton. Only one more torch. That should be good enough, I think. Outside of the bats, uh, I prefer a infinity bow. Bows are cheap at endgame. It's very easy to get a new one. And uh, I think having to manage your ammo and arrows is a real pain. Fazu Battlecaster, good to see you. We didn't try the hanging signs yet either. See, they're a nice stripped color. I guess we could try to take that all the way up. Maybe that's the best way to do it. I guess it depends too. Like if you're using spectral arrows, then sure. Mending bow would make sense, right? I 
think I like this. Yeah. Maybe we have to go back to Spruce. Looks a little bit nicer. I feel like we have to have a bit more um, dark oak in the actual bottom here. Be a good way to tie it all together. Symmetry in color and texture, but asymmetry in shape. Or do I have to bring that up? Nope, definitely better lower. Need a bucket. Thanks. Yeah, the hanging sign, I think, was the right choice. And then that kind of tipped me off as to what to do for the, um, for the colors. Mm, I'm betting this isn't going to look good, but we'll give it a go. I think these things just look a little bit too fancy for out in the wilderness. I like the color, it's just that it they look so ornate. I'd really like to put down one of these blocks these player heads. I guess I could try it here. It's 
See, now that we've gone with the stripped dark oak for the color, the, the dark oak plank texture is too much. I wonder if I could change this into a stair, maybe? Sometimes it's fun just to experiment on these things, even though it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of fun to have these things in your repertoire for some other time. I'll have to waterlog it. I keep on forgetting my bucket. I was looking for a place to put a tripwire hook, but I don't, I don't think we're going to find it. Feels a little chunky. Was really floating away. Oh, that doesn't feel sturdy, does all. I, I prefer the texture up top, I think. Did not feel sturdy. I guess we could change this. I think I like that better, and then we can go straight down the side here with the trapdoor. Sorry for all the flopping around. The wet, the water is really messing with my swimming. And I'm now busting stuff I don't want to break. Yeah, I think that works. Oh, they look like a chocolate bar? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there could be better uses for that. I was thinking the other day, because I know that we can now force load texture packs depending on where you are on the server. So I thought it would be neat to be able to like have a texture pack load for people when they come to West Hill and then have a texture pack load for people when they go to the modern city. And I was looking at all of the different doors and trying to figure out what doors would be something that wouldn't really make a lot of sense in a modern city. And outside of some really obvious ones, the birch doors are okay. 
but I was trying to think about like what could I do for like an office door, but the one that would make sense is the is the iron door, but then you need redstone to open them. So I haven't really decided on anything yet. I might be able to use a barrel. Let's get some stone. So along here, I used to have this gutter that looks like I tried to trail it off at about here. So now it's just straight bricks the whole way through. And I think that this is going to make a little bit more sense if it was a stone staircase that came down. I think it has to be a little bit wider. I don't have any regular stone. Have I dreamt it or a copper door is soon to be a thing? No, copper doors are coming. Copper doors are coming. That would be... They don't... How do they interact with redstone? I don't remember. They're a metal door, but then you can open them however you want, if I recall. But yeah, the copper color would be... That would be kind of fun because then you've got four different textures and you could make four different kinds of doors in the modern city. Like, think like a glass door a office door like a metal door that would be cool
I guess it defeats the purpose if this is also going to be path as well. No, that doesn't work. Copper trap doors are coming too, but they will be expensive. Turing, you think the recipe is going to change? I mean, if it doesn't change, then we could always just add a data pack. We've done that for regular trap doors already. Um, moss. Having a real brain fart day today. Whoops. Elkhorn 95, the mighty Elkhorn has a 12-month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dinter that has entered into the seventh month. Thanks for the support, as always, Elkhorn and Cosmic. Much appreciated. Where did it go? There it is there.
feel like that looks pretty good. So with this kind of texture stuff, I'm usually trying to like, just grab a little bit of attention as people get a little bit closer. I don't know about this. Maybe that's a little bit better. And that feels funny there. Break time when you raise this cosmic, thank you. It looks a little bit weird on the map, but it makes sense on the ground. Feels like a little pathway down. And then this feels a little bit more official. I think that's good enough texture. Yeah, I might add some mossy here and there. I should just make more of those. Cool. Well, since it's getting dark, I might as well just head on over here for a little break. Thanks for the reminder, Cosmic. If you're new to the stream, I take a break about once an hour. Gives me a chance to step away, refresh my water, all that stuff. I will be right back.
Sky High MC. Welcome in, welcome in. And Calico, welcome in. Need some advice on villager breeding. I haven't done that in a long time. As far as I know, all you need is beds. More beds than you have villagers, and that's usually good. You're going to be a problem, Mr. Helmet. More beds than villagers, and the new villager can't have the ability to claim the bed. Right, so you, you got to sweep the villager away as soon as it arrives. That's my understanding. And then you provide food for the actual motivation. The condition is the extra bed. The motivation is the food. I'm going to tackle all kinds of that kind of stuff when I get to the sci-fi area. It's definitely going to be on my list. I guess I should have looked at this first. How are we doing for texture? I think I'm done with all the brown texture, right? Maybe could have a little bit more dark stuff over here. Maybe I need to switch these. That's a little bit better. Sometimes it's really hard to talk through some of the textured decisions I end up making. It's a weird, weird thing where like I can talk about making a building, but then sometimes I get into texture stuff and I start to get clammed up. It's 
This is a lot of cobble. I was not expecting. This just feels like a checkerboard for some reason. That's a little bit better. I'm going to put some bushes over here. So maybe this actually won't be a button. Yeah, I would look up uh I would look up logical geek, logical geek boy and impulse sv. Also, who is it? Exumavoid on Hermitcraft this year in the last 4 episodes, I think, maybe 6 episodes. And within that time, he set up a a villager thing too. Oh, I didn't check to see what biome we were in. Sunflower plant still. Okay, good. That actually works there, maybe? Yeah, I think we'll do this one too. Peters off a bit. Getting low on grass. I feel like I've got more somewhere. I think I was just flying over to pastures 
on the other side to get more, but I thought I had more in here. This was the first storage room that I had. Yeah, when I first got here. Makes me think there should be a gate over here between the farms, maybe? It's funny how walking around makes you realize where you want to put the shortcuts. I think that looks pretty good. I like some of this tall grass. I'm going to get some bone meal. Drop off some of this texture that I don't need. You have a recipe for rooted dirt? I need to do that. I forgot to do that when I was updating to 20.4. What's the recipe, Elkhorn? Is it, is it just rooted dirt and dirt equals extra rooted dirt? Or is it like two by two roots? How did you guys structure it? Dirt plus root equals root of dirt since you can farm roots. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Pretty good. I really am missing my variated uh, textures for the uh, coarse dirt pebbles. These are all oak wood bushes. Oak bushes. Yeah. Free stuff. I'm 
I'm thinking about all the gray I'm probably going to have to make in the sci-fi zone. And so now I'm no longer just ig ignoring stuff that I see. <laughs> Oops. Because for the longest time I just didn't collect them. Because I had so many. I feel like that's good there. I wanted to put a bush over here. Check to make sure this road still makes sense. I think that piece could maybe go away. Where is it? Right there. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. I'll work on the road texture another time. I think I really need to just focus on getting this stuff all together. I'd say that's pretty good. Now, I had removed some grass down here by accident. And I think I want to get in some taller grass. Have that little bit of motion nearby, which looks good. Uh, see, boy. TG Beast, I guess. Thanks very much. Having a good day, yeah. Pretty chill. Keeping it, keep it low key today. It's been one of those weeks. I feel like I was busy most days. Although I had that issue sleeping earlier in the week, and that kind of really threw me off. But I've just you ever have one of those weeks where you just you feel like you've been working, but you feel like you've been treading water the whole time? I don't I mean like I know I've made progress. You can visually see the progress in this in this build, but I just I don't feel it as much. Zig the cat guy, hello. Cosmic. I missed that. I'm just now noticing. 
I'm at an hour and 29. The notification is from 23 minutes ago. I suspect that the lovely Cosmic Dancer made a donation while I was on break. Did it play on screen chat? Were you, were you made aware of the, of the generosity and the loveliness of Cosmic Dancer? Cosmic said, I am indeed enjoying the stream. <laughs> that was not the purpose <laughs> of that of that command, Cosmic, but thank you ever so much for the lovely $200 donation. Holy crap. That's just incredible. And it's because of fantastic, wonderful people like that that I get to do this for a job. So... A tip of the hat, even though I'm not wearing a hat. I guess in game I'm wearing a hat. That would be cool to have an animation on a multiplayer server where you could like reach up and tip your hat. <laughs> I'm sure it probably exists. There's, I see all kinds of mods that do stuff like that. But, but, but. I was enjoying the stream and I considered donating and decided to donate. Yes, I, you realize, yeah. The literal net at work, folks. <laughs> Thank you again, Cosmic. Ranger, hello, hello. I just realized that there's 3D chains on the, on the lantern, too. I like that. It feels a little thick from the wrong angle, but other than that, it's okay. This is driving me crazy, by the way. I really need to stop swimming here. There's a lot of strange water sources that are really messing with my camera. Stop it. All right, I've decided don't like these as much as I thought I did. Now I'm just being dramatic. Yeah, it's not something I think people are going to stand on when they walk down there. I think it's just me looking around that's causing me to stand on it. So I think what I want to do is in transition a couple of these bushes. We've got a lot of oak bushes in there. There's this one here. And I was thinking that maybe I could sneak one out here. And then switch to Azalea, maybe here.
just a little bit of visual interest. Yeah, that helps to feel a little bit more more fun. Why well, I missed a whole bunch of bone meal along here, didn't I? I like that little bank. This is where I wish we had cattails in the game. How does that look like from the road? Oh yeah, no, that's great. That adds a lot of, a lot of fun. Well, that is not what I wanted to do. Another little group over there. Try not to make it look exactly the same, but some place where the river might slow down a little bit or something like that. I don't know. Just little things like this are fun. Yeah. Grandpa Crafter, 100 bits for missing the trapdoor. That's funny. Thank you so much. Have I ever done a raid in this world? You mean like a pillager raid? Um, yes. I would have done it when they first came out. Um, I feel like there was an accidental raid. I think we maybe had them on until MacCast kept on triggering them because... He lived in a in a village or something. I can't remember exactly what was going on, but we did eventually turn them off, yes. Okay, I don't think we need to do anything more here. I think we're good. Let me just take a look around. Maybe a little bit more moss over there. And the same thing, a little bit more moss over there. And then, then it'll be done and we can work this section here. But I'm happy with that. I might drop a bush down there. Is it there? Yeah. This used to be how people lit up their areas. You'd hide a torch underneath bushes and do it that way.
Mind Trip Media, 100 bits, just saying hello with the lurk. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. More moss is always the answer. You can never have too much moss. It is nice to have all this texture coming together and then to just be able to walk by it and experience it rather than always walking by and thinking, oh, I got to do that. I think that's pretty good. I mean, we're bound to have some dirt here and there, right? Let's take a couple walk by passes and see how this feels. I guess first we should go down to our other fishing dock. I don't think we can see one from the other. Nope. So it really doesn't come into view until you're very at the top of the hill. So that's good. I might have to cut these back actually. Now that I'm looking at them. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Even farther away, maybe. Yeah, I feel like that looks better than having it too sharp. So I'll work on that. This all feels pretty good. Don't know how I feel about that dirt bit, but you're probably not going to see it. A little bit of grass passing over that. How does that look if it wasn't there? I think I like that better, actually. Free stuff. Oh, insane value. I know how to play. Uh, I know about the hoe for moss. I just can't be bothered to carry yet another yet another block when I can break it that easy with my fist I don't think it really matters <laughs> well played cosmic I see what you did there
Yeah, that looks much better coming down here. Nice. That all looks good. We could possibly use with a little bit of of uh, river beach there. This feels pretty good. This was just feeling a little bit empty. That's a bit better. Beachfront. I need this root of dirt. Speaking of, so I think along here, like right here. And then maybe here too. Just have a little bit of Bald River. And then maybe the same thing here. Yeah, just a touch. So here's another riverside spot. Yeah, I like that little that little touch. Excellent. More free stuff. Okay, let's just take a good look here. Yeah, shouldn't be too worried about it from this angle because you're really not going to see it from this side very much. You're going to be over here or maybe up here and even then you can't see it. So yeah, you got to remember sometimes flying around, you're looking at it in a from a perspective where no one is going to see it. So you end up making too much work for yourself sometimes. So we'll take another look from this way. Maybe we'll turn on the fancy cam. Oh, 
hopefully this feels pretty good. It's pretty late in the day. There might be shadows cast over everything. Oh yeah, that looks good. I like it. Could almost go with a small, uh, smaller dock. Ah! Stop it. It doesn't really make any sense. It's one of those things where the the meter in Minecraft just feels too big. And a stair there would look silly. Just gonna wait for the sun to come over the hill a little bit. Maybe we'll walk over into the wheat field and see what it's like from over this direction. I always think you have to go up that bridge, but it's the little one. Nice. Now just imagine this, but with like a nice farm behind it. Because all of those those tiers in there are gonna look something like that. Maybe with beets or something on them. Or flowers. You can see what I'm looking at is these tiers right here. Yep. Azalea bushes show up very bright in the shaders. But other than that, it's pretty good. Actually, I should say all bushes do. The, the oak bushes are much brighter. Same with my potatoes. They're very, very, very green. Cool, so now it's just a matter of doing the custom tree and then figuring all this out. Let's walk one more time from over here. <laughs> Grandpa Crafter, I have to revoke my bits. <laughs> It's a sentence that only makes sense when you're watching a Minecraft stream. Or I guess a stream in general. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. I realized how funky the grass looks with shaders. I watched a guy, I can't remember his name. I'll see if I can look it up uh, on my next break. That had shaders tweaked where it didn't very look very good in game but when you switch the shaders on it looks just like the um minecraft trailers how they do all the graphics for the minecraft trailers it was really neat looking So I know I'm not done texturing the road, but at some point you just have to kind of walk away. We'll consider the road a different task for a different day. called bare bones texture vampire made that's right i think you're right welcome in good to see you so next on the agenda i think i'm not super happy with the the tears here so i think i want to smooth this out before I attempt to do too much for vegetation. The top three are okay. It's just these bottom, well, this side and then these bottom two. I 
I feel like it's a very odd, odd shape. I'm not going to make the river wider, I don't think. I guess I could curve it a little sharper this way. That might be worth it, actually. Yeah, so we'll tackle that. This just feels very narrow. I feel like we'll maybe cut this down a little bit. And then as a result, we'll cut back these two. Uh, and I also need to think about that tree because it needs to go to the left. Yeah. Cool. I'm a little bit early, but I think it's probably a decent time to take that break before I start the next task. And I think I watched that YouTube video really recently, so I'll look that up and post it in chat. So once again, folks, if you happen to be new to the channel in the last hour, I do take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to grab another glass of water. Gives you a chance to grab a stretch, maybe even grab a friend and let them know that we're live. And I will see you in just a few minutes.
All right, let's go see what we can do about this custom tree. And spiders. Any creepers? Way over there, not worried about that. More spiders. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the leaves in the tree to azalea because I find the oak is a little bit dark. I think that should be good. And what else do I want to do? It might be okay to have some flowers. I don't know. I need moss and grass. Well, it'll we'll be cutting up a lot of grass. We should be fine. They drop giant string in your texture pack? That's interesting. Why are they terrifying in your pack? What did you change about them? Right, so I find it dark and I find it too far to the right. And I think I need to make it a little bit taller too. Sixty-four bit and the legs would move weird. Oh, I see. So they're like creepy crawly type stuff. I guess I should have brought the shears. And the scaffolding. Yeah, gross, but cool. I could see that. There are sometimes when you have like those mod packs that add like extra animals and stuff, and sometimes they go too far and it just doesn't look like Minecraft. It looks like some terrible copycat Minecraft game. And I'm never on board for that. But sometimes people like the fresh animations. I really wish fresh animations didn't lag out my. Um, my system. Because it, uh, it's a lot of fun. And they look really good. They look really vanilla like, you know? So that is an ugly tree, but hopefully it's in the right spot. Really is uh, overcompensation. I've now moved it too far to the left. <laughs> I think the trunk is in the right place, just that I moved the leaves too far. For now, I'm just going to make it kind of symmetrical and then we'll worry about how to do the rest afterwards. 
I've never been good at just straight custom trees. I always prefer to grow a tree and then do something else from there. Can lurk for a remainder of the stream. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, Joel. Thanks very much, Vampire Maid. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. The only thing with the Azalea, it's like it's almost hard to see. It does feel a little small. a little bit bigger. Falling Leaves mod is an example of a mod done right. I think you're right. I agree. Quite like it too. I think I have to turn on shaders to see if I can see this tree. That's better. Just to kind of get a good spot for it. What do we think? Do we think it needs to be bigger? I could see it maybe being one layer bigger on the top. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. I certainly don't want it to be so poker straight. It's definitely a little boring. But we can fix that, no problem. How did I do the other custom trees that I did over here? I know I've got a couple of trunks. Oh, these are big. That's really big. Yeah, those are really big. 
This one's small. Right, so that's good. It's just too chunky. I think what I want to do is get like a custom branch sticking off the side, maybe. It's certainly a little bit more interesting. I remember going to be looking at this from a couple different directions too. Well, that's getting there. I'm glad I made it taller because otherwise you just, it would look like this bush. That's good. Hmm. Can tell I don't do this very often. That's pretty good. And then maybe we can pop up there. No. Now this is where this camera mod is gonna come in really handy. Cause I can get up here and actually look at where I need to add leaves.
Feels a little square from this side, but I don't know if there's much we can do about that. I like this. Well, that helps a little bit. Maybe it needs to come out a little more on this side. Yeah, that camera when you're up here is so helpful. Well, there we go. Not bad. My attempt to make it asymmetrical sort of worked. Flux synthesis. Hello, welcome in. Still new to Minecraft. Very cool. Do you listen to the Spun Chunks podcast? Is that how you found us? Or are you just kind of looking for random people on Twitch? So here's the thing about trying stuff in Minecraft is that especially a little tree like this, you're looking at a couple dozen blocks, you might as well give it a go. I'm not very good at it. It takes me a lot longer than I wanted to. I wonder if if moss carpet would look good up here. All right. Now I know I need to find where the trunk is. So it's on this block. Did I bring roots? I do. And I think outside of what we need to do to sculpt around here. That's probably it. I think the other decisions are going to come from um, what happens to the landscape here. I just want to sleep so I can get rid of the rain. So Flux, what are you working on in your world? What kind of stuff are you still going through the progression? I imagine if you're that new to Minecraft. I guess I can take some blocks.
Only started about a month or two ago. Right on. That's part of the fun discovery. It's something that Pixel Riffs talks a lot about on the Spawn Chunks podcast is that, you know, when we're discussing our history with Minecraft, like one of the things that you can't really do again is have that first time experiencing Minecraft. There's not a lot of video games that will give you the same sort of feeling. And um, I think that there, whenever we talk about new features, the features that grab us the most are the ones that do make us feel like we maybe, you know, are, are playing the game again for the first time. I'm going to start, I think I'm going to chop that down. Starting back here. So we've got two, 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 three, three, and then two again. And I think we're going to do three, three. Let's just. Mow that all down. Yeah, that's already looking better. Three, three, four. I think that's probably. Oh, we might want to come back one more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So this is why I don't landscape before I finish the broad strokes because you save yourself just a ton of time. Uh, that's going to have to be longer. So seven and then one, two, three. Does that feel pretty smooth? We might even have to go like harsher in the other direction. Man, I don't know, maybe we just get rid of this whole thing right here. I'm realizing that this whole riverbed is going to have to get changed now too. Yeah, let's start going more gradual from back here. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven. No matter what I do, this just feels too short, so we might have to fudge it a little bit.
Uh, that's not too bad. This is that game of full meter blocks are just too big for what I want to try to do. I think that's probably about as good as we're going to get. Cosmic Dancer says, I feel like I got a sense of that with 1.20 update. I know it wasn't for everyone, but a lot of features encouraged me to explore the world. That's something that I've always loved doing in Minecraft. Oh, yeah, totally. That 118. I think that's one that came up for us. Oh, yeah, that's a huge difference. Um, you can see that way clearer now, too. Yay. So from down here, you can now see. It's like this used to be way out there, it used to be land. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, like 118 was definitely one of those times when we were talking about the feeling of starting Minecraft new again. I think I'm happy with this being too wide, so let's just continue that. That feels about right. Two, one, 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 two, two. We'll do three, two, two, three, four, five. So for folks that are new, I'm just kind of trying to make this a gradual tra um, transition as we go around. Whoops. And I think we'll step back by two again here. That looks pretty good. You can't really tell that those are lined up. So here's where I probably will change this from being here and actually make this more like that. And this could be more interesting this way. Or this could even be like a, um, I don't have an extra block, like a, uh, coarse dirt slab. Ah, oh, good. Is there an update for you, Joel, that made you feel like the same as when you started in Minecraft? Uh, 113 was definitely an eye opening experience. The, um, the oceans. Really subtle, but effective. Okay, so now we just have to worry about this section here. Do, I think here is where we're gonna put some bushes in.
Oh, that does not look good. Oh, you're watching the SOS SMP. Very cool. That's a fun time. Yeah, 113 sticks in my head because that's when the spawn chunks started as well. But yeah, 113, 118, 116. The the big I think the big world updates, like the nether updates, um, those kind of things. That said, I don't know because of how little time we all spend in the end. I don't know if that's something that will feel quite the same. Like it'll be a good update, but I don't know if it's going to like make it Minecraft feel brand new again, you know? I think that works. Keeping it simple. Can't see much of that from up here anyway. Just a tad. Cool. Nice. Mr. Crink coming in with a raid. Party of six. Welcome in, folks. Hope you're having a good Friday. We are working on this custom tree right now. And I think we're done. I maybe have to do a little bit more dirty ground around it. Maybe some fallen leaves or something. But right now, I think good. I need to go get a couple more blocks from the old inventory. Mr. Crink, what were you doing in Minecraft today? I'm assuming it was Minecraft when you were streaming. No, Turing, it was an intentional pun. Good eye, though. Can I put grass on that? I can. Sweet. Okay. Maybe not that one. Yeah, I think that works.
Well, maybe not there. Maybe we'll do coarse dirt there. Did I bring any? I didn't. And that's going to be a slab, so I need to actually get dirt. Uh, I was, in fact, playing Minecraft, says Mr. Crink. I have the series called Minecraft Through the Years. I'm collecting every block in release order while going through and updating the versions as we go. Currently on 1.4.7, and we are on the hunt for the final item, the carrot. <laughs> for some reason, I can't find one. Wow, that's an interesting history uh, walkthrough. Very cool. Well, folks, if that sounds interesting to you, then by all means, go and check out Mr. Crink on Twitch. The follow link should be in the chat. And uh, if anybody coming in from Mr. Crink's raid doesn't know who I am, my name is Joel Duggan, as the channel suggests, and I am a full-time podcaster and streamer. I co-host and co-produce the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs, who you might know from the Minecraft Survival Guide and the um, Minecraft SOS server. Speaking of Minecraft Survival Guide, um, Flux, that is something that you should check out. The Minecraft Survival Guide. It's like a how-to on how to play Minecraft. Tutorial type stuff. Very much geared towards beginners. I think you will like it. Yeah, for some reason, these brown dirt blocks are really jumping at me today. The other podcast that I have is uh, the uh, Citadel Cafe, which is all about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. And of course, with the uh, addition of some extra days lately, uh, but I normally just stream on Twitch Thursday through Sunday. One o'clock Atlantic, that's UTC minus four hours. Not bad. Okay, so we did want to mess around with, I think, this stuff a little bit. That's probably okay. This one goes to, oh yeah, that's weird. Let's do three there. And two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That actually should be okay. And then this is going to need some work. This will get tweaked.
three, four. I think that probably looks okay. I think it would be cool if you have your own building guide. I do. It's called the Joel Duggan VODs YouTube channel. <laughs> because I've not cut out anything. You can go to Joel Duggan VODs and watch this entire build. All of this. In real time. You can also uh, look up different um, videos based on the year. So the, the playlists are like... The Citadel 2022, 23, 24. Um, and there's also, there's no playlists for certain builds, but there's they're clearly labeled and usually the thumbnail will give it away. You know, like the inn has got like nine parts to it and it'll be called the West Hill River Inn part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you like a build and you want to know how it all came together, you can actually just go find it on, on YouTube and watch them. I mean, you can... You can mute it and watch them at 2x speed if you don't want to watch the whole thing. I appreciate that they're very long. Um, and it's a lot of a lot of stuff to watch. The part with the tree feels a little funky, but other than that, I think we're good. Nice. So probably just a couple more custom bits up here, like a bush here, maybe. Feels pretty good. Just gonna switch those around. So that takes care of that part. This part's done. So then really it's just a matter of going through here with some bone meal and figuring out how we're going to blend these two sides together. Cool. JT, welcome in. Working on a custom tree. Did you miss anything? The last three hours. Um, what was I looking for? Bone meal. So we'll get some ferns. We've done this before. Get some more grass. So right now, what I managed to get done was this point of interest and then blending it in, you know, to the surroundings. Uh, we've done, that's pretty much done. Then along here, we just need to hit it with some bone meal, I think. Uh, same thing with up here. This is another point of interest, and then this is another. And so now, we're just going to kind of come around and hit the stuff in between. The idea is to get it to look like this. And it's a fun little technique where you can let Minecraft do some of the heavy lifting for you. 
so we'll run around with the bone meal. And then we'll go up to the next level. Try to put a spot of bone meal everywhere. Well, or a spot of grass everywhere. And so a couple things. I don't want the flowers. And I don't necessarily want the too high grass everywhere. It's good on the hills, but not so good in some places where you don't want it. I feel like there's probably okay. There's good. There's good. All right. So next thing, Minecraft has put in the flowers wherever it sees fit. And you don't have to do all of them. But in some places, if you replace the flowers with your ferns, it just helps you potentially randomly be placing your ferns, right? Sometimes I add a couple. Sometimes I don't strictly listen to the flower. Sometimes I kind of put it where I want. Other times it makes total sense. I think that's all of them. I don't see any more ferns on them or uh, flowers on the map. So that worked pretty well. And then the next step is just go along the edges and hit everything with bone meal so that they end up being too high. What I try not to do is bone meal the stuff on the front. I tend to bone meal the stuff up against the other blocks. And it's a really simple way to just make the landscape look like you've had a hand in what's been going on. Sometimes I like to leave them short so it doesn't look like it just stops completely. That looks pretty good. Then along places like this, I tend to do custom placement just because I want it to look a certain way.
Nice. I think that's good. We'll wait for the sun to come up. We'll take a look. <laughs> Flowers are good for bone meal. I have an entire shulker box full of bones, so I'm not too worried. I save I save the flowers to uh, to bribe. I mean, give to Cosmic Dancer. They always have their uses. Dirt, dirt. All right, fancy camp. Do I feel safe here? I don't see anything. That looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. I just realized I want to put a boat there. See, like, I didn't go too close to the path where I'd already done a little bit of custom work. And then you hit the, everything with the bone meal in there. It's sort of random. There's a little bit, there's stuff in here that might be a little bit too, too much in a row. So maybe I'll pop in and hit one or two of those. And I need some more grass in that area there. So you can kind of see where I've missed some spots. But other than that, it's very effective. And it kind of gives you the impression like this is where people don't go and then this is where people go. Where is that stuff? Yeah, so let's do that one. That one there. This is the advantage of having this camera. Yeah, that broke up the rows a little bit. And there was a bald spot over here. And a little bit in there. Not that it really matters, it just looked a little bit inconsistent. I like the, the little bits around the bottom of that custom tree. I will have to remember that. And I think maybe... Go down and do a little moss check. Every once in a while, there's just a piece of dirt that sticks out. Oh, uh, what was that? That was a too tall fern. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Yeah. Just need a spruce. Spruce boat. I think a spruce boat would make the most sense. I guess I could try an oak boat as well.
Uh, what goes in there? Nothing. Thought I heard a creeper. Sometimes the bees make noises you can hear from across the field. Let's see which boat looks best. Cherry boat, says Cosmic. This is my surprised face. I'm betting the oak boat is probably going to win. Yeah, just too much the same. We'll see what without shaders. Oh yeah, definitely the oak boat. Oh, that didn't work at all. It's probably good. Yeah. Very cool. I wonder if that could benefit from having a little post as if we can't tie it up. I wish we could. But it might might look good with a little post right here. I had no reason for one before. Yeah. And for a little height variation, maybe I can grab one of those player heads. The Vampire Maid, thank you ever so much for stopping by. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. That might be too tall. Yeah, a little bit distracting. That's fine. I just realized I could have made that a chess boat. All right, folks, I think that is where I am going to wrap things up. We did a lot of really cool stuff today. I'm quite happy with the way that this is looking. If you've enjoyed the stream, please leave a follow here on Twitch and consider checking out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast, as well as the Citadel Cafe podcast. You can follow, of course, on social media at Joel Duggan on Instagram and Twitter. And check out Patreon. If you'd like to support the stream, then you can do so on Patreon or you can do so here on Twitch. All roads lead to the same Discord. So a sub on Twitch, a prime sub on Twitch, a membership at the base level on Patreon, which is only two bucks, get you access to the community and the Discord and access to live recordings of the Citadel Cafe and things like that. And we're going to be doing a quarterly report on Citadel Cafe and on the Twitch channel coming up in April. So only members will get access to that. So it's a lot of fun to hang out with folks and kind of discuss where their channel is going and what's going on. So you might want to be in the Discord for that. And if you are curious at all, there is also the Streamlabs donation. Thank you so much to Cosmic Dancer to uh, for, a, for a lovely, lovely donation today. Uh, but there's also an option with the Streamlabs that you can do a monthly donation, which is set by you, and then it just automatically renews. And uh, I, I, can't, I tried looking. I can't seem to find a way to link that to the Discord. 
but uh, but you can set that up if that's the way that you want. And then you control the amount. So you're not stuck with like a Twitch sub because Canada and the UK, the Twitch subs just went up again. So if it's getting out of your budget, I appreciate that these days people are are, are tight sometimes. And uh, honestly, just eyeballs. You know, if you're here and you're watching, I appreciate it. If you can tell friends, I would appreciate that even more. And uh, the more people we can bring in, then the more community grows and uh, the more I can stream. So check out all the VODs on YouTube on Joel Logan VODs. Uh, everything in this entire place is all up there on YouTube. Uh, we're going to raid Exumavoid on Hermitcraft. I will see you tomorrow. That's Saturday at 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus 4 hours. And on Sunday, there's a really good chance that I will not be doing a stream. It is Easter Sunday and I've got some family plans. So just a dinner. But it's probably going to be easier for me not to stream on Sunday. I will let people know in the Discord what I decide, but chances are it's going to be just a, a chill day for me. I will see you folks tomorrow. Bye for now.